What's up guys, Brett Maverick here. This is a video I did on this channel before titled I Was Wrong, but I wanted to do it again now that I actually got a following over here. Um, I don't think a lot of people saw it. I'm going to also do a live, Wake and Bake Live today at like 2.30 or 3 a.m. Pacific time. Um, I liked, I did the live feed yesterday and I dug it. This one I'll leave up so uh, people can watch it. The other one I'd take down because I had some uh, shit in there that didn't, I had a whole bunch of um, guests and they had, they, you know, didn't want to be in the video, so. That's cool, I respect that. Here's what I wanted to show. You can click the link in the description. It's a graph or a chart that shows the temperatures that water boils at in different inches of mercury. So, um, yeah, I'll show you here. We've got water that is 76 degrees Fahrenheit. You see the bottom of my chamber, 75. I'm not heating it. I've always mentioned because people like to say that the terpenes, you know, start to melt at 100 or at 90 degrees and that at 120 or 130 you're uh, losing your terps. So, um, you know, never go over those temps. Well, they're seeming to disregard that in a vacuum all that shit is lowered. So if you're like staying below 120 because you're afraid that temp terps are going to boil at that temperature, you're completely disregarding that you're in a vacuum and they already, it's too late, you know. Um, my belief by how low the temperature is of this water and it's about to boil in here, we're looking at water that is uh, 76 degrees, it's not going to heat up. It doesn't need to heat to boil. That's why when you're up in the altitude, you have to cook your noodles for longer. And like a pressure cooker, when you have a pressure cooker, you can actually cook things at a hotter temperature in water because it doesn't boil at 212. Now here we are, 76 degrees. We're almost to a full vacuum. And we got bubbles galore. It's just boiling away. Um, it's kind of hard to make out through my chamber lid, but they're regular ass bubbles coming up and popping. Now, I've heard crazy explanations for this. I've heard uh, people say, water's H2O, so you're pulling the oxygen out of the hydrogen. Oh, cool, right on, so I can take this when I'm done and throw it in a, uh, I've got, I've just made a hydrogen fuel cell, and I can fucking, I've got pure hydrogen now, and I can throw it in a fucking um, car that runs on hydrogen, and cool, guys, I can separate oxygen from hydrogen in a vacuum. And then I've heard people say that it's the fucking gas, the water gas that's in, or the air, that the air gets in the fucking water and I'm just purging the air out. Well, you know what, instead of just assuming shit, you can always Google water's boiling temps in vacuum, and you can see on that engineering website, they're not like us stoners, they don't just make shit up. It's engineers, you can see on there the boiling temperatures um, in different inches of mercury. So, you know, I, like, I know that people like to argue before they research shit, but um, quickly you can look on the internet and find out what was going on there. And to really clear it up for you, if you understand what an HVAC is for, what an HVAC technician actually does, anytime they're not removing the Freon from the lines, and you guys can attest to this, you HVAC techs, because there's a few of you who watch my videos. Instead, of, if they're not removing all the Freon from the lines, and you've got an air conditioner that needs to, you need to get the, of course, the little bit of air that's in the lines, but mainly the condensation, that Freon ends up built, getting moisture in it after a while. Especially the more air that's in your lines, the more condensation will be in there. Just like driving a car that's on E all the time. If your gas tank is 95% empty and it's mostly all air, so you're, you got all those walls of the gas tank and it gets cold at night, all that, you're gonna get a bunch of condensation in there. And after a year or so of that, you're gonna have a whole bunch of water in your gas tank. So keeping your gas tank full is better than keeping it empty all the time when it's sitting. So, um, but yeah, just like the lines in the air conditioner, what this does is it'll actually boil the moisture, it'll actually boil the water out of the Freon and the Freon won't boil. And when you have it at the vac pump hooked up to the lines, you can actually recharge the lines with the same Freon and get all the moisture out of it simply the same way is what I was doing there. So, I mean, yes, they use them to get the lines to a full vacuum to suck the shit in too, but that's not the only thing they use these for. So, yep. Um, and I'm sure there's other uses, HVAC techs, you can touch on that, but main thing of this video, 
Um, if you're afraid to go over a certain, you know, if you're afraid that because turps boil at whatever temperature um, you're trying to stay under that, that's only at full atmospheric pressure. When you're in a vacuum, all that shit has changed. All that shit is way lower. So um, I just wanted to let everybody know that. Um, people might not have tried putting water in their vacuum and seeing what happens. So I just did. The shit boiled. Um, but yeah, it's not hot, if anyone's wondering. It didn't heat up from that. My plastic didn't melt. So yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you later.